Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Where it's a massive game, Manchester United taking on Newcastle. What's a big win last weekend for Eric Ten Hag side against uh, uh, Everton? Uh, we needed that win to bounce back from that def brutal defeat to Manchester City. Uh, we looked good on the counter against Everton. We saw that in Cristiano's goal, how deadly we can be on the counter. But the game against Ammonia was a bit different. We dominated them uh, completely. We had the ball. We, uh, we, we controlled, I believe, like 80% of ball possession in that game. Uh, if you actually haven't seen my match reaction for that, you can check it up here. Uh, but the focus today is, of course, Newcastle. As you can see, this is the lineup I'm going to go with against uh, Newcastle. Let's just go straight into it. David De Gea starts a goal for me. There's no question about that. I think everybody uh, would agree with that. So um, let's move on. So going into the left back position, I think there is a decision to make. Of course, we've seen Malasia start really, really well this season. But now he has dropped down to the pecking order. And now seems like Luke Shaw is coming back to form. And Luke Shaw looks like he's he's, he's basically controlling on uh, controlling that left-hand side. We've seen a couple of games now. Malase have been uh, hooked off twice or three times in a row now. Even the Ammonia game, he was uh, substituted in that match. The one before that as well. So I think, looks like clearly to me, Ten Hag will definitely go with Luke Shaw. And I agree with him. I'll I'll, I'll pick Luke Shaw as well for my uh, left-hand side. As you can see, I put him there. Uh, Martinez and Varane will be the uh, center backs. Of course, Varane hasn't started a couple of games. Lindelof has been asked to fill in that position. But I think Varane comes back in and... Newcastle are not an easy team. I think Varane should start with Martinez. And of course, Delote will keep will keep his position at right back because Juan Basaka just disappeared. We don't know where he is at. <laughs> really, like, I really don't know what's going on with Juan Basaka and Donny van der Beek. It's like they're ghosts, basically. Um, let's move on to the midfield here. This is the partnership, I think. Casemiro and Eriksen, this partnership will definitely last long, in my opinion. We've seen them play together now for a couple of games, and they've done really, really well. And I hope to keep it that way. I don't want to make any changes. Uh, Fred has come on in the uh, Ammonia game. Hasn't impressed me that much. I thought they would work well with uh, Casemiro, knowing those two played together for Brazil. But... It just didn't work. It just really didn't work. So I expect Eriksen to come back into the fold, into the starting lineup. We saw how we struggled against the Ammonia side. That side, I mean, we couldn't break them down, really. I mean, I know we did and we, we missed a lot of chances, but we needed Eriksen to come on so that we can actually win the game. It just goes to show you how desperately we need Eriksen in, in, in that midfield area. So... Definitely for me, Eriksen and Casemiro will start. Let's move on to the next position. So this is the front four I've gone with. Anthony on that right-hand side. There's no competition for Anthony on that right-hand side, to be honest. Like, really, Ilanga is the competition. Or Garnacho is the competition. So, really, I don't see Anthony being dropped He's done well. He scored uh, three goals out of three games. Now he scored against Manchester City. He scored against uh, Arsenal. Also scored uh, against, I believe, Everton. So he's been a good form in terms of scoring. But I want to see more from Anthony. I want to see him take on players consistently. It feels to me that he's kind of one-dimensional, always trying to do similar things. I want him to be unpredictable in that right-hand side. And look, I mean, he's definitely going to improve. He's just got into the Premier League now. We need to give him time. And I think he's going to come good. I'll stick by him. I'll, I'll stick with uh, starting Anthony on that right-hand right -hand side. 
Bruno as a number 10. Yes, Bruno uh, have come into a lot of criticism lately. Uh, people, uh, some fans are pushing this agenda that Bruno is not good. He's been wasteful. Has he been wasteful? I mean, I think he is. He was, but we don't have any player in that position. Unless, of course, you want to play uh, Ericsson in that position and put uh, McTominay at CDM. I don't know. I mean, you could definitely go with that, but I'll just stick with, with this lineup because it's Newcastle. It's a lower team than us, whether you like it or not. It's not like we're playing Manchester City, so I would definitely go with two attacking midfielders here. So Ericsson and Bruno starts for me. But yes, Bruno needs to improve his uh, performance. Uh, lately, he hasn't been good. It's not just about scoring or assisting. It's also about all-round game, how you control the game, how you uh, utilize the, the, the ball when you have it. Uh, he just... He's just so wasteful uh, a lot of times. He just tries this Hollywood pass all the time, taking shots after shots from outside the box. I think that needs to be changed. On the left, I've gone with Sancho. Yes, let's hold your horses here. I mean, people are just going to go crazy now because Bradford has been doing really well. But Ten Hag has shown he's picking the team not based on uh, favoritism, but based on form. If we're talking about form, yes, Rashford has scored a couple of goals, but have you seen the misses against Ammonia? I mean, Rashford could have had two hat-tricks in that game. He ended up not scoring any. Uh, Cristiano, I remember, when Cristiano was missing chances against Ammonia in the other game uh, against, uh, at um, uh, Ammonia, he was on the bench the next game. So I expect the same energy from uh, from this manager. Rashford has been wasteful. He needs to sit on the bench. Of course, Sancho has come on in that game, actually won us the game. Yes, McTominay has scored, but Sancho came on and created loads of problems for, for, for that uh, Ammonia defense. So I think Sancho should be given the nod here to start. In my opinion, some people might disagree. Let me know in the comment section. Do you agree with Sancho starting on the left? And do you agree with uh, Rashford being on the bench? Leave your comments down below. I'm sure there's many of you uh, who probably disagree with that. Uh, up top, I have gone with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, Anthony Martial is back fit, but I don't think... And Hag will want to risk him because we have a Tottenham game coming up. I believe we have a Chelsea game coming up. I don't think he wants to risk Anthony Martial against Newcastle. Because of that, I've gone with Cristiano. And also, Cristiano has been improving uh, lately. Let's not forget, guys. Cristiano didn't have a preseason. We know how important it is to have a preseason. Even the manager has mentioned that Cristiano missed loads of uh, preseason games, basically. And because of that, he wasn't up to fitness. But now he's catching up. He's catching up to the team. And I think I do see him gradually improving his game, his fitness. But I think he should be starting this game against Newcastle. So this is my starting 11, guys. What do you think? Do you uh, disagree with it? Agree with it? Let me know in the comments section. Of course, we're going to talk a little bit about Newcastle. This is the guy that we have to watch out for. Bruno. Basically, not the Bruno, the Newcastle Bruno. This guy has been killing it for Newcastle. Uh, looks like, I mean, he's going to be the main threat uh, for Manchester United. I really want to see the battle between Bruno and Casemiro. I think that's going to be the key for the game. Uh, he has been magnificent. He has uh, he has an all-round game. Appearances, 23 goals, 7 goals, uh, 2 assists, chance created, 23. This guy has been in form. And Newcastle have been in form uh, lately. This is the past uh, 5 games now, 6 games. Yes, they don't win many games. But yes, they don't lose many games. So you're looking at this. 
draw, 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 lose, draw, draw. And in the past couple of games, they won against Fulham 4-1. And uh, the, the previous game, I think 5-1 is what the result was. So I expect a tough, tough game, guys. I expect a really, really difficult game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my prediction here. I think we're going to win this game 2-1. It's going to be a tight one. But I think we have enough quality to beat Newcastle United. My goal scorer would be Cristiano and... Anthony. I'll go with Anthony. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't uh, if you haven't already. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a watch along for this game. So be sure to join me on Sunday, guys. Thanks a lot. Peace.